The Irish Government is facing a report at the moment which is recommending that they sell quilture rights, felling rights, for the next 80 years. We don't think that's the right way to go. Irish forestry has been very successful in the last 50 years. We now have about 11% of the country under forest, half of it managed by, by quilture. But the company needs to change. It's a very narrow legislative mandate which sets it as a commercial lumber company and that affects everything that they, that they do. Some of the land should never have even been, been planted. It can provide a whole range of other services, bio, biodiversity, water management, power supplies. So the company needs to switch from being a lumber company purely to being a land management company. Even when it comes to forestry, the current system is not the clever way. It's a form of forestry farming where you take the land, plant it, um, and then tend it over 40 years before you clear fell everything at the one time. That leaves land which is exposed, which is barren, and where the soil runs away into rivers and, and streams in a really damaging way. So Creelcha needs to change, and the government needs to use this opportunity not to sell felling rights, but to think how do we change our whole system of forestry management. Here in the Glendine Forest in the Sleeve Blue Mountains, there's an example of how we can do things in a completely different way. By creating spaces within the permanent existing cover, where new trees can naturally grow, by going in and taking much more thinnings, and in that safe space and in the shelter space of the forest, allowing new trees grow while the old ones mature, there's a chance for us to get a much better forestry policy in place. The benefits are many. The biodiversity here is really rich. It's a lovely space for everyone to in, in, uh, enjoy. And it's labour intensive. I mean, it's difficult, we have to change our ways, going in, taking out one tree at a time, but that creates employment. And the other thing is that it also creates lumber that's a much higher value. This is doing it in a Swiss-German type of way, which is where we need to go. These trees are like trees that the land that time, time forgot. They're about 80 to 90 years old. And the benefit from that, what we see in the continent, is you can get a price for these much taller, much bigger trees, which is 10 times what we're getting for our current lumber prices. The government use, needs to use this time of change not to stitch us in to a short-term clear felling model for the next 80 years, but instead to make the switch we need to make towards 80-year forestry, which is permanent and which just gives us income, steady income, forever and a day.